Absolutely delighted now to be joined by Monday afternoon's keynote speaker, Stephanie Meeks, the National Trust for Historic Preservation. Stephanie, first of all, welcome. Thank you very much. And tell us a little bit about your session this afternoon. Well, I'm going to be talking about a book uh, that was published last year by Island Press uh, that I wrote with my co-author, Kevin Murphy. It's called The Past and Future City, How Historic Buildings Are Reviving America's Communities. And it goes into some empirical research that the National Trust has done that really unpacks the value of historic buildings. Tell us a little bit about the value of historic buildings. Well, we've done some really groundbreaking research at the National Trust using GIS mapping, cell phone usage patterns, and all sorts of data that's available about cities now online. And we've mapped all of that in 50 cities, including San Antonio, where we're sitting today, and have done comparisons of blocks that have new and historic buildings, a mix of them, versus blocks that just have new buildings. And what we've seen across all 50 cities is that the blocks with historic buildings have a greater incidence of women-owned businesses, minority-owned businesses, small businesses, a greater incidence of creative businesses. They have more affordable housing units, and in many ways are kind of a, uh, contributing to cities far beyond what I think most of us have understood previously. Do you know why that is? Well, and, and there, we think there are several reasons why. And one is that older buildings tend to have a lot of flexible space. So you can, as a small business owner, just rent a corner of a historic building, and much more flexible than, than a you know, brand new commercial space is, is one of the reasons. The rents are often sometimes lower too. They're not class A office space. And right. so uh, if somebody's just getting started, there's an opportunity for them to get, get a toehold sometimes in a historic building. A lot of the city managers who are coming to the conference here, who we've been talking to, are doing just that. They're trying to, very often they're trying to regenerate the downtown area of mm -hmm. uh, some of their historic uh, towns. And, and your message to, to those people would be a positive one, I guess. Very positive. You know, there's a woman um, named Jane Jacobs who is a now sort of a, a icon of city planning, but back in the 1960s, she was a, a journalist with no formal background in, in urban planning, but she coined a phrase, which is that cities need old buildings so badly, it's probably impossible for vi vigorous streets and districts to thrive without them. And what we've shown now, and now we have computers and we have data that Jane Jacobs didn't have, right. and we've been able to document empirically that her uh, her theory really was true. And so what we're hoping to do is you know, help city leaders understand the value of their historic buildings, but then think also about how they might need to change their zoning right. and planning policies and approaches to unlock the potential of historic buildings. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. It's fascinating stuff, thank you. Thank you very much.